All right, so I am back, and today we're going to take a look at the uh, Masterpiece Ironhide uh, MP27. This is the uh, current giveaway, so I got the uh, tickets right here all ready to go. So whoever wins will know at the end of this one. And I'll be able to shoot this guy in the mail to you uh, probably um, either Thursday or probably more like Friday morning just because I'm going to use this in the um, big comparison video that is I'm, I'm going to be filming tomorrow. Um, so, and it'll be up on Friday. So that, that's going to be huge so that I could show everybody off or everybody what is available. Um, so uh, he comes with the, you know, the instruction booklets. Um, and there is a, this little piece here. Um, this is a little tech readout of um, fossils that were behind the cave. And you can open this thing up here. And just slide this back inside his chest like that close this up and then you get the technical readouts so that's pretty cool close it back up all right so he's got the tech card too yeah and just pop that back in here so pretty cool um he does have a box um so you got the uh, product shots, the van, and the robot mode, Nissan. You know, again, I've said this before. I kind of wish I'd get away from making the licensed vehicles. I know they look good, and I know some people really like it. But I think sometimes that hinders them. Um, big case in point is the Bumblebee. It's like he could have been so much better had they done the just a generic car. Um, you got some writing down here. Transformers masterpiece. You get the van. Robot mode. Um, in the back, you all the little things you can do. So, so yeah, there is that. Um, and then he's got this whole sleigh of accessories here. Um, so this is a nod to the G1 toy, obviously. Uh, and in case you don't know, uh, the original G1 toy, only part of the van would turn into the robot and then the other part would open up and become a battle platform, much like um, Optimus Prime's trailer, only a much smaller version. So um, so that's what this is referencing to. Um, so we'll just kind of run through all these accessories real quick. I know a lot of people have seen these already. So you get this uh, launcher here, um, and it's, it's a fake launcher, so you can pull this out that um, and it's just missile slides right in there there's no spring gimmick so it just kind of locks in the place um, looks good though um, the chrome on this is terrible absolutely terrible um, but uh, I don't know about you guys. I don't think I'd be utilizing this thing very much. This is definitely... And, and it's, it's nice because you have the option to display it, but it's not part of the transformation. So it's not like you're losing something if you put this in a box. Um, you know, like Prime's trailer, you kind of have to have it. Rodimus Prime's trailer, you kind of have to have it. But him, that's all accessories. You don't need it. Um, so you can plug this in here if you want to. Um, give him kind of an arm launcher thing. A um, little goofy, but it doesn't look that bad. You can also uh, plug it into this port back here if you want to. Do like a overhead kind of thing or like a launcher or a backpack almost. Uh, jetpack. So there's that. Um, then he actually does have a jetpack. So that looks nice. No issues on this one. You can just plug that in here. And then he comes with two of these little flame burst things. So you can plug those in right here and right here. Uh, so it looks like he's got a working jetpack. Pretty cool. I like that. 
Um, he's got this chrome rifle here. Um, got a little bit, a little bit of um, mold flash here. But outside of that, the chrome on this one's much better than the launcher. Um, much, 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 much better. Uh, and you can just take this and plug it into his hand, just like you would any other masterpiece rifle. Um, it looks good if that's the look you're going for. I'm not a fan of this, this particular weapon, and I know it's on a lot of figures, uh, or a lot of versions of Ironhide. So, but it is there if you wish to use it. Um, let's see, what else do we got in this big pile of accessories? We got a radar dish. Uh, and you can plug that into his forearm. And he could just, you know, radar things. Pretty cool. I like it. <clears throat> I make fun of it, but I like it. Alright, now let's uh, flip the hand in. Close it back up. Now we got this little port right here. And with that plug, you take, uh, he's got a hand, open hand. You just plug in there. Um, got the little shooter fingers there. So that's cool. I like that. Something they didn't have to do. Uh, all, all of these accessories are things they didn't have to do, but they did, and I appreciate it. It, it, it kind of shows that they kind of care. Um, you got this plug here. You plug that in. Looks good. Then you got this piece here. You can plug that in. Again, looks good. I like it. It matches the color of his shoulder, so it looks like it's actually part of him. And, and the hand, too. Uh, not quite as much as the, it matches the shoulder, but it does match. And then let's see here. He's got these two little pistols, which um, we're going to leave out um, and show off how they can store in van mode open this up take this and plug in like the other one this one's a little bit of a bear to get in uh, I I won't lie Uh, yeah, for some reason, these ones, I have a hard time getting them in there. Um, I have no issue whatsoever getting the rifle in there. But once they're in there, they're, they're, they're good. They're solid. I like it. Um, I just wish it was a little bit bigger. That's that's my only thing. It just feels a little bit small for Ironhide. Uh, and then the last little gimmick, um, which I hate because it's a gimmick. Uh, but if you push right back here, uh, his face falls off. Um... I've seen a lot of people have a hard time keeping their face on because it's not frictioned very well. Um, not quite true to this, but I can definitely see what they're talking about. So you can take his face off. There's a close up of the face while we're here. Now it's a good looking face. I just don't like that little linden right on the top of his nose. That does bother me a little bit. And I found you can store the other face right here. So getting this close up. Um, so you just kind of like got a worried face, I guess. I'm going to plug that into it. Oh, that's not bad. Here it is. A little bit closer. Not bad. Not my favorite look. Uh, I would have preferred like maybe a angry face. But, uh, Stoic is, is good too. And then, yeah, there's just this little plug right here. You can just plug that into. So, all of his accessories do store on this battle platform. All right, let's go over accessories now that we've spent 10 minutes going over accessories. 
Um, so posability. Um, he's got that nice red um, hot roddy um, color that I really love. You guys know me. Oh, come on. That's going to get really irritating for me really quick. <laughs> Um, so, uh, posability wise, his head is on a ball joint, so you get the left, right, up, down, not so much down, but definitely get up, left, right. Um, this is why, one reason why I like ball joints over the, um, neck swivel is, like, I could tilt his head to the side like this, you know, if I wanted him to kind of be looking, look, kind of like, what? You know, I, I I could do that with ball joints. You can't do that with the swivels. Um, I just I, I just like a little bit more posability. Oh, and there's a ha. Huh, there's a hinge right here, right below the neck. I didn't even notice that. So if you want him to look down, you could actually pull his head down, and he can look down. So that's cool. Um, shoulders ratchet up and down. Um, it's a weird weird ratchet. But um, it works just fine. Uh, I have no issues with that whatsoever. Um, so, uh, louder ratchet. Get you a full range of motion there. Um, bicep swivel. Um, elbows hinge. Um, there is a um, little gap there, but you can see there's like some molded detailing inside there. Uh, I wish they would have just thrown a little paint in there. That would have made it look a little bit better. But as it is, you can barely notice it. Uh, hands swivel. Fingers open and close. Uh, waist swivels, but it only goes this far. I'm trying to see where it's getting caught up at. I, I can't... I don't see where it's getting caught up at, actually. It just... It just doesn't go. Uh, he's got the hate, hip skirts. Uh, a lot of people, he, he gets a lot of hate for these hip skirts. For me, those that's not an issue. Um, I, I just wish there was a little bit of a hinge in there so you can kind of tilt them a little bit. Um, I don't know. It, it just doesn't bother me that much. It really doesn't. Uh, you flip this panel here up. Leg rotates up. Rotates that far back. Uh, swivels out to the side that far. Um, no ratchets, just a universal. Uh, that I don't like. I really wish they would have put some ratchets. I mean, they got ratchets here and, and here, <laughs> but they don't put them um, here. Uh, thigh swivel, or yeah, right above the knee. Uh, there is a thigh swivel at the hip. Ratcheted knee. The foot angles, angles out like that. And is there a rocker? A little bit of one, yeah. So you can get you can get an A stance with him. Uh, now, you know, a lot of people had some issues with the big belly. Um, I don't have that issue in hand. I think it looks great. It looks it resembles Ironhide. I mean, it always kind of had a little bit of a chest and belly kind of kibble going on. For me, I mean, from what I remember. Uh, so this doesn't bother me at all. The hip skirts, um, minor nitpick uh, for me. What does bother me? You move the arms out, out of the way. So here's the head, and it goes straight down. The waist is in front of the head. That bothers me. That's not like this gap right here. This is the this is the part that bothers me on this figure. Everybody has something that bothers them on this figure. Mine is the fact that the head and the waist don't line up. I mean, here is a side swipe. Head, waist, straight line down. Um, him, it's kind of more of a... I don't like it. Uh, that, that I don't like. When you put the arms down... You never know. <laughs> it's as simple as that. There's there's a sol the solution for me. <laughs> Just leave the arms down. Uh, you know, maybe pose one and keep the other because that still doesn't bother me. Anyway. All right. Um, 
So we did accessories, we did posability, uh, paint is really good, um, bumper here, I know the skull face had some issues with his, uh, with shipping, um, it's not seamless chrome, and the one back here is the same, it's not seamless, no real flaws, but it doesn't, it's just not perfect. Um, Alright, so transform this guy. Um, it's a lot easier than other iron hides, but um, it's still an iron hide. Uh, so swivel all the uh, thighs around, like so. And then we will pull the chest out, just like this. Can I get that out of the way? And then you can pull these red hooks here up. This will free this whole assembly up, and you can rotate this whole thing back. And this will fold up like that. All right, now uh, we want to pull the arms apart just like this. Pull this piece here down. This will rotate around. And then this will kind of accordion in like that. Pull the tires out. Get those out of the way. And then you pull this whole hip skirt assembly out. And we'll rotate down. Just like that. Alright. And then we can then rotate this in. This will untab from there. And fold this piece here up like this. And this will come around. It's one of those like everything has to move in a certain area in order for it to fit right. And then we rotate it down. And there you go. Alright, so let's do it on this side. Let's try and do it a little bit easier. Um, Alright, um, so fold the arms out like this. Um, this panel will come down. We're accordion this up. Flip the hand in. This will rotate back around. And then you want to flip that up. there and then this will rotate like this and then you can clap this up just like that all right we'll clean that up all right so rotate this foot around that rotate this foot around like that fold this up fold this up uh, this piece here will flip out and then this piece here will flip around it's like this and it's on a double hinge so you just kind of have to work with it until it comes around just like that and then you pull this tire here out just like that. All right. Uh, so take this panel here, flip this up like that. Rotate this panel here around. Double hinge it. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. out the tire and then it just kind of locks itself into place when you get it right all right so now it's just kind of a cleanup duty um, feet tab together it slides up like the legs collapse just about that that much maybe uh, and then you just 
tab everything in. Easy breezy. No issues so far. The front comes down, locks into place like that. And then tab these panels in here. I'm just going to make sure everything is all good to go. And there you go. Voila! Van mode. Um, rolls really well. No issues at all. You can take the uh, guns here and they just fit under the axles. Just like this. This one, this one got stuck on me earlier, so I'm not going to tab it in all the way. But you can store them both under there. And rolls really well. Um, it's got solid plastic tires. kind of wish they were rubber, but I understand. Um, yeah. Um, I will agree with Bobby Skullface on one particular thing. I wish that they would get away with, just do away with the clear windows. Um, let's just do black painted windows or, you know, uh, blue painted windows. Who cares? I just, I don't like the clear windows because you can see through them and you see all the panels. Yeah, that going on. At least you can't see the head through the back. But yeah, uh, looks good. I like it. Uh, I like this a lot, actually. Um, transformation is not, not the greatest, um, but it's not nearly as bad as like the Voodoo one, which the Voodoo one's only about half as bad as the TFC one. <laughs> we'll be looking at the TFC one tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, nothing else really to show you in the van mode. Uh, when I, when I do the big warp video on Friday... Um, in between all three iron heights, I'll get the uh, prime trailer out. I'll have some Autobot cars all in car mode, so you can see all sorts of scale comparisons with the uh, for the vehicles. So that's coming on Friday. Big, big, huge deal on Friday. So uh, it's gonna take me all day to tomorrow to record it. I think. Um, anyway, um, pull these out, and they do been in there really snug. Really, really snug. Alright, and then you, uh, what you want to do first, just rotate these tires, the hinge, and then you can, um, there's a hinge here, and then there's another hinge a little bit lower. So you can uh, unhinge it here and then pull it out a little bit. That will allow you to flip the tire in and lock it into place like that. Same thing on this side. Just tuck it in there. All right. And then we want to pull this apart like so. And get that out of the way. Pull the legs apart. Slide that down. Like I said, I mean, if you watch it, that much. That's it. That is all it slides down, which is nice. I, I don't like having legs collapse on on figures like this, if, if unless it's necessary. Um, so flip this heel spur out. Toe will rotate around, and then what you want to do here, you take this panel here, and it just double hinges around, and tabs into place like that. So again, just take this piece here, rotate, tab it in. And it's nice because they put that glare coat on, on both sides of the plastic. It's so nice that they do stuff like that. Um, then you take this panel here, and this will flip down. And then there's a little tab right here um, that the door just kind of slides behind. Again, nice clear or nice gloss plat paint or maybe just a gloss finish. Um, and it's just a nice colored red. Uh, either way, I like this color red. It's it's my favorite red. Um, you can ask anybody <laughs> or just watch half my videos. 
um, with a red figure. All right, and then you rotate it right at the uh, right above the knee, just like so. Pull these panels here out, and then you want to take this section here. This will flip down, like so. Tap this section, and like so, and then you can just kind of fold this out of the way. Rotate the legs forward, like so. Then this piece here will fold up, fold up like that. just kind of sit right there for now and then what you want to do here this will fold down and then this will double hinge out like so and then you want to fold this arm out of the way and then you fold this window section all the way up and then from there you take this little tab piece flip around and it will just hook on there doesn't it's not like the most secure tab but uh, in between everything else that's about to happen it helps it uh, helps it on its way um, all right now you want to take this assembly here and it just hinges down and you want to slide the uh, window section straight back And then this piece here will come up over the top. So I just kind of see those little hook tabs came undone. We don't want that, do we? There we go. And then tab those back in. This piece will come up. Little tab here, little tab there, slot there, slot there. Pull that up, tabs into place, rotate these back, collapse them in, and then you fold this in, there's a little tab here, slot right there. Rotate it back. There you go. This will come up like that. All right. Now. Rotate this around, flip this piece here out, hand comes out, hinge this forward, flip this up, close up. Same thing on this side. To uh, bot mode, uh, I'm not gonna put the guns in his hand. <laughs> just, just, just to let you know, I'm not doing that because um, I don't really want to mess with it at the moment. Um, so yeah, uh, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. Um, you know, I know he's been getting a lot of uh, hard times uh, lately with uh, with some reviews, and I'm not gonna sit here and say that they're wrong. Because uh, at the end of the day, all, all reviewers are doing is telling you their opinion on the figure. My opinion on this figure is I have that one major issue with him, and that's the head not lining up with the waist. It's just off center. That bothers bothers me. That bothers me a lot. Um, and because of that, I'm not going to give it a full 10 out of 10. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, for example... Skullface does not like these hip skirts. He does not like those. Those don't bother me. Uh, he doesn't like the belly. That doesn't bother me. And I'm not going to sit here and... I, I'm not going to say he's wrong. Because he's entitled to his opinion. Um, these things don't bother me. So I'm not going to score him on someone else's opinion. Um, but for me, I love this figure. I think it's a great figure. I think for me, it's a definition of masterpiece. Um, it, it, it's Takara getting back on, on the bandwagon. Um, 
this guy's a little dusty. But uh, let's do some size comparison, shall we? Um, here he is with the uh, with an MP car. Um, so those guys look good together. And here he is with an MP Prime. And I like the way those guys look together. Um, I think that Ironhide might be a little too big for my personal preferences. <coughs> but ultimately, I think he looks good. Um, Scale-wise, I think he looks good. Um, here he is with the uh, Bumblebee. And I think that looks good, too. Uh, all in all, I, I think he looks good scale-wise. Uh, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a teaser what's to come on Friday, real quick. So here he is next to the I gear. I guess this is technically the patrol specialist. The reissue. And here he is next to Voodoo Toys. And... And John, I know you're out there. I know you're watching. You're saying this guy's stuck in an A stance. You can get his legs straight up, up and down. It just doesn't look as good. Because, I mean, that looks too stationary. So, that's why I had him in the A stance. I just think it looks better. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, he's... These guys are just, I, I, I think this guy hits, for me, uh, again, uh, I think this guy hits the um, the scale mark a little bit better than uh, than he does. He's just, he's about half a head shorter, um, and that makes a difference when you compare him to Prime. Um, and we'll go into this more detail on Friday. Oh no, I like it. Uh, I am definitely going to be picking one up. Um, and I, I haven't decided if I'm going to pick up the Masterpiece Ratchet or if I'm, uh, if I'm good with Voodoo because I'm still really good with Voodoo. Uh, and I have Voodoo. <laughs> uh, it's going to be, it's going to be a tough call. Um, something for me to think about later down, down the road. Um, oh, this piece fell back in. Um, so this piece here just folds out. In, and that just gives them a little bit more of a little bit more of a detail right there. Um, anyway, I, I like him a lot. Um, I'm gonna give him a nine out of ten. Uh, I know I gave him a nine out of ten, and had I messed with him before I played with him, I probably would have given him a little bit of a lower score. Um, I think I gave him a nine out of ten. I can't remember now. Um, so, but. Um, yeah, I, I, honestly, they're about equal when it really comes down to awesomeness. Just his transform, transformation is so much better and his accessories are better. Uh, but we'll, we'll, again, we'll do a full comparison on the, these guys on Friday. Uh, and I, I, I still think this guy has his place. I, I think he does for certain collectors. And we'll get into that on Friday as well. Uh, all right, now got our trusty little uh, bucket here. Go over our tickets real quick, and then uh, announce who wins. So we got uh, Daniel M has four tickets. Scott has two tickets. Uh, Jonathan WD has ten tickets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here, 
Dave J has five tickets. So one, two, three, four, five. Kev K has two tickets. And TA's got one ticket. Alright, now this is one of my giveaways um, where I came up with the idea of this one. So there is not a second place on this one or once we get Defense or um, The second place one is on the other Voodoo Ratchet, uh, which is um, the second prize is picking the next giveaway. So uh, I, think, I think the next giveaway after this guy um, is going to be Hot Rod. Uh, the new MP hot rod. So uh, we'll take a look at that, or I'll, I'll, I'll probably post that here soon. All right, and the winner is TA. I think you've won a couple, or I think you've won at least one. <laughs> All right, so TA, um, hit me up with your uh, shipping details. I think I have them somewhere, but um, hit me up with them again, and I will get you uh, this guy sent out in the mail uh, as quickly as I can. Uh, like I said, I'm going to hold on to him until Friday, and then uh, after that... Uh, Thursday, Friday, uh, after that, after I do the big war video uh, between all the different iron hides. Uh, and just to let you guys know, there is one more iron hide to look at before we do it. And that's this thing. And we'll look at that tomorrow. <laughs> and I don't want to. I really don't want to. But anyway, uh, we'll take a look at this guy. Um, and then TA, if you're more interested in the um, TFC one. <laughs> You could have that one instead. Uh, I know it's, it costs more, but it's not worth more. We'll get into that on Friday and tomorrow. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't want to do that. Anyway, um, so there you go. Uh, TA, congratulations on Ironhide. Um, hit me up. I, I know I have your shipping details somewhere, but uh, just it would be quicker if you just hit me up because I'm always so busy. Uh and we'll move on to the next giveaway. Uh, I think we're almost funded Ratchet and we've almost funded Unite Defensor. So if uh, if you guys are still interested, I'll put the link below. Uh, and just uh, go ahead and check that giveaway out. And then I'll probably have a Masterpiece Hot Rod coming up very soon. So... Uh, so there you go. Uh, Masterpiece Ironhide. Great figure. Highly recommend him. Um, I, 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 I'm really torn at the moment on uh, on these two. But um, I, I really like these this figure. I, I really do. Uh, I, he's, he's a great figure. I, I'm not understanding the hate he's getting. But I'm not going to say anybody's wrong on their opinion. Um... I, I just think uh, I think he deserves a little bit better. So anyway, uh, there you go. There is the masterpiece Ironhide, um, and we'll uh, take a look at TFC Ironhide or Iron Will, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Piece of shit, Iron shit. We'll look at Iron shit tomorrow. Um, there you go.